Hey everyone, another self-isolation bonus video where we take a look at old commands from Pro Engineer that you most likely never ever need to use. And this one isn't one that I have on my common tab from obsoleted or anatomic. I'm going to show you one in assembly mode that's still in the main interface and you never need to use it. Let's take a look at the assemble command. Here we can use the drop down, and there we have our keyboard shortcut of A to use assemble. Then we have the include option. That's great if you want something to appear in your model tree, but you don't want to bring in the geometry right now. That way your bill of materials and product structure will be correct, but you're not cluttering up your screen with geometry. Here's a way of assembling a flexible component. You can do that within the regular assemble command though. The command that you never need to use is this one called package. When we click on package, it's actually even gonna open up our menu manager with a bunch of different choices. And the choices that we have right now are add, move, and fix location. Let's first talk about what packaged means. Package refers to any component in your assembly that's not fully constrained. If it's not fully constrained, it's got some available degrees of freedom so you can translate it and or rotate it. This command allows you to add a component to the assembly without defining constraints. I will click the add button and then we can either open a model, select on the model or select the last one. I don't understand how people are using this all the time, but anyhow, let's click the open button and I'm going to assemble in here a cylinder and then it shows up on the computer screen, just dropped in a location and we get the move dialog box. So right now we can move the cylinder. Right now I am in orient mode, so that means that I could spin around and move it over on here. But let's say I want to translate it. I'll choose the translate button the component that was selected gets deselected, so I need to pick on it again. Now it's attached to my mouse and I can move it approximately in place where I want it to be. Let me grab it again and then move it about over here. So again, you have this clunky kind of weird dialog box for positioning the component. And then when you're done, you click OK and the component is in your assembly, it's in the model tree, it's got the empty box glyph, G-L-Y-P-H, that's what those little symbols in the model tree are called. It's got the empty box glyph to indicate that it is under constraint, it is packaged. Now, if we wanted to, we could use one of the other commands over here, like fix location, pick a component that was previously packaged or under constraint and then click OK and done return and we no longer have that empty box next to it because it is now fixed in place in the model. Let's say that you no longer want it fixed. Oh yeah, but let me actually show you. If I go to the package command now, you'll notice that finalize is grayed out because there are no under constraint components in here. Let's hit done return out of there. Let me grab the cylinder and I'm going to choose uh, two different ways to unfix this. If you go to edit definition, you could go to the placement tab and you could right click on it and choose delete and then it'll be under constraint again. If you click on a component right from the mini toolbar, you could choose to fix the location and now it is fully constrained. And then if I click on it again in the mini toolbar, you have the ability to unfix the location of the component. But anyhow, the component is unfixed now. Let's go back to the package command. The other option in here now is finalize. And then if you pick on the component, hey, you get a dialog box that allows you to add the different constraints that you want for the model. So for example, I could say, hey, let's pick that and pick that. And I could continue adding in my different constraints until it is fully assembled. Let me hit cancel out of here and show you why all that functionality from in here is completely redundant. I'm going to right click and let's choose delete to get rid of this out of here. 
Let's see how we could do all that from the assemble command. Let's click on the assemble button. And I'm going to grab the cylinder. And let's say, you know, I have this option turned on where it's automatically attached to the end of my mouse. I can left click to drop it in here. If you want to translate or rotate, hey, you could use the 3D drag it or grab it to translate it. You could rotate about the various different axes. You can also do this by using Control Alt and the middle mouse button to rotate it, and Control Alt and the right mouse button in order to translate it. So, everything from that move dialog box, you could do right from in here. If I want this to be packaged, all I have to do is simply add zero constraints. Just hit the check mark. Hey, this component is packaged in here. As I showed you, if I want to fix the location, you can do that from the mini toolbar. If I want to finalize this, I'm just going to choose edit definition and add my different constraints. Let me do that real quick. Let's pick that and pick that. That's good. Let's let's see. Uh, let's do a new constraint. Let's pick this one over here and that over there and for the last constraint this surface here and this surface over here it's giving me a distance constraint if i double click on the 3d note i could use my drop down list and change this to coincident now it's fully constrained everything looks wonderful hit the middle mouse button and my component is now assembled in here so again everything that you have in the package command in an uglier and unnecessary interface. You can do everything in here from the assemble command. Let me grab another cylinder. Everything available from the package command is available from the assemble command. So again, completely unnecessary. No need for you to ever use the package command from this dropdown. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, thanks again to our people working in grocery stores and getting our food delivered. Thanks to our first responders, to our police, firefighters, and our EMTs. Thanks to our doctors, nurses, and everyone working in hospitals keeping them open. Stay home, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you very much.